Hi, Ollie. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Good to see you. Uh, I just wanted to start asking about Dean Henderson and, and whether you could talk to us a little bit about how much he's benefited from the two years that he spent at Sheffield United, one in the Premier League as well, and how you manage his expectations now he's got all that extra experience and return to return to United. Well, uh, it just shows uh, how sometimes how beneficial some loan deals uh, are. And of course, Dean has worked his way up through the ranks, uh, through the system, and the two years at Sheffield United uh, has made him uh, really come back as a more mature uh, quality keeper. He's uh, had some experiences there with uh, with a great promotion, and uh, his, his year in the Premier League last season as well was very valuable for us and for him. So uh, he's made his England debut now since he's come back. I feel he's learning more and more uh, the Man United uh, style that our play is a bit different he, we have a couple of different uh, demands of him obviously um, so but uh, we're uh, very grateful to uh, Chef United and Chris what uh, they've that they given him a chance to develop as he did and uh, I'm, I'm sure you've seen the news about Slaven Bilic this morning um, yeah. I think at this stage last year Arsenal, Everton and Spurs had all parted company with their manager. But it's taken till mid-December for, for Slavin to lose his job. And I just wondered if you think that Premier League clubs are more mindful of the circumstances in which you're doing your job, not only during the summer, but also this season as well. Well, I think these times in the pandemic and what's happened has made everyone sit back and think and maybe take a deep breath uh, I'm very sad to hear that Slavin lost his job I think he's done great for them uh, uh, getting promotion uh, I know him from years back as well so I'm sure he'll get a job again uh, when he wants to so that's uh, that's one bit but the other bit is that um, Hopefully more and more clubs and teams think long term. Of course, it's a short term business. We need results short term as well. But uh, everyone knows that continuity is a key to success. Sometimes they don't have the patience for it, though. Hi, Ollie. Just, just on that theme, and when we talk about that kind of patience thing, we also talk about that word pressure. And you know the pressurised environment that United is as a player and a manager, but it's a very different pressure, isn't it, at the bottom of the Premier League with, with the likes of, obviously, Slavin losing his job and, and Chris Wilder under pressure with just one win on, on his book so far. Yeah, of course. It's, it's not a nice position to be in as a manager because you want your players to play every game with confidence, going into a game uh, want, thinking and believing they win the game. Of course, I, I've been there with Cardiff and it was, a, uh, for me, a new experience, a learning experience, of course, and uh, a valuable uh, one in that respect. I didn't, I didn't enjoy it uh, with the results and uh, the, the relegation that we got. But as a manager, I, I think you're very, very um, uh, one of very few if you're not going to uh, feel the pressure uh, at one point. And uh, I've felt it. And uh, I'm sure Chris, Slavin and uh, whoever feels that pressure uh, are mentally strong enough because you have to be mentally strong to be uh, the manager anyway.